and the Birmingham Pino is over and there is no hashtag Saturday 20th December 2014 06.45 going to the Willows and maybe the gravity station Estif Cafilli and the Santa Express has just left for Bargoid and nothing over there is rebooting Very stable. Anyway, winds dropped. Wow, the Knarf train now stops at platform three. Yeah, this one. All very confusing. Five platforms, new design. Ah, the festive Ernest Willows. Thinking coffee and cranberry juice to start. But not in the same glass. Or mug. Christmas. Christmas is a time for Mr. Manning. Festive carpet, festive stone. Festive ale. Rudolph. Stonehenge Brewing, 5%. 189 a pint. That's off. Okay, it's not helped by the fact that I just add the lime out of the cranberry juice. This is that's not a bad pint. The line. <laughs> okay, B plus. Although I might come back to that later. So probably get kicked out of camera for this one. One because it's a lager, and two because it's keg. However, it is brewed gog. It is in a branded glass. And it is rather good. No aroma. Look at the carpet, Mr. Manning. Hmm. Almost peppery in taste. B plus plus. Huge finish. Thinking of a little bit of Christmas shopping. T shirt sale as well. A slave to the wage hot crap, 4.3% by power by volume. And a glass. Traditional and craft together. B plus plus. Easily. Let's talk. It's got two X's and it says Belgium Triple A, so I don't know what the name is. But I'll have a crack. Anyway, 8% alcohol by volume from Flanders. Tastes more like a lambic and looks more like a lambic than triple. I'm thinking excellent. A minus. <clears throat> From the same brewery as the last one. Chesa B Reserva. Belgian Christmas Ale, Bourbon Barrel Aged. 10% alcohol by volume. This is going to be my last. I need to get home. Oh, 
It tastes strong. Oh, it's quite malty. I'd give it a B plus plus. If I don't fall off the seat.